Hi everybody, I'm Joey Paul and I'm an indie author and welcome back to my channel. I write young adult fiction across a variety of genres and if you think that might interest you, think about subscribing below. So it's that time of the month we talk about what I've been up to, what I've managed, what I've achieved. I'm going to split it into three categories, work, health and miscellaneous and starting with work. I managed 208 chapters in revision and I was very happy with that. This month has been the first month in a very long while that I didn't have any drafting projects. I am re revising and planning to maybe rewrite two projects. Both of them are standalones. One is I'll See You Through, which is a YA urban fantasy. The other is This Is How It Ends, which is a YA thriller. Both of them are ones on the back burner that I knew needed a lot of work and time dedicated to them. And so with almost 50 first drafts, I wanted to take some time to rework these two for when it comes to doing the professional editing cycle in a few years. So far, it's been going good and I'm happy with the notes I've taken and the shape they're both in. In other editing news, I finished line edits and we're off to the proofreader now. Third Ache had a cover reveal last month, which I will link up in the cards. And if you want to read the third in a young adult urban fantasy series about chronic illness and being an empath, you can pre-order below or sign up to be an ARC reader there too. I've also been doing passes with Translucent to allow me to input all the sensitivity reader feedback. I've finished now with one sensitivity reader's note and plan to start on the next one in August. It's all going really well and I'm happy with how it's going. I should be ready for beaters in a month or so. I also have more audiobook news. Lights Out and Destination Unknown are now both out as audiobooks. You can find the link to buy them both below. And Cleo, who did Lights Out, is now working on Lights On, which is great. Work has been exceptionally busy, but all good things. And in health, I have Meepoot on the 5th and that went about as well as expected. Pain flare wise, we're still waiting on that referral to go through and I've been managing as much as I'm able. Sleep has been up and down and with that mental health has been a bit of a nightmare to be honest. I'm struggling to keep my head on straight but things like wheelchair walks and other stuff have helped me with that. And the miscellaneous section, B, my best friend and carer went off to Greece last month so I was left in the care of Mix K and we survived. So that's awesome. I did manage to keep up with my wheelchair walks even when B was away, which brightened things up. The family issue from last month came up again this month with things being tentatively doing better. We had a lot of theme park visits again as a family this month, though which is always a good thing. We did a whole three day trip going to one every day, though I took a day off in the middle, but it was still a whole lot of fun. So yeah, there we go. That's basically all I've been up to. That's all I've managed. That's all I've achieved. It's a short one this month simply because while there has been a lot going on with work, it's not really much to talk about. Health-wise, things are up and down, like I said, and mental health is not doing great, but I'm still here, which is always a bonus. And yeah, just still plodding along. So what's something you did last month that you're really proud of? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's all I've got time for today. If you want to support my channel, you can comment, like, or subscribe. I post your videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. You can also sign up for my newsletter. And don't forget to pre-order Cramming Chronicles of Third Ache, which is the third in the Young Adult Urban Fantasy series. And if you do pre-order, don't forget to grab the swag. And also don't forget to grab a ticket to Wonderland in Nottingham in July 2025, where I'll be signing books. All the links for which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye.